hello one and all uh, i am going to share a video on the conic sections the conic sections includes circles circles parabola ellipse and hyperbola in different styles if the cone is cut we get all the four sections i am not interested in discussing uh, how we get circles parabola ellipse and hyperbola and come to the point let us consider there is a fixed line and a fixed point fixed line fixed point fixed line fixed point there is a fixed line and a fixed point and there is a movable point p let p is movable point p is a movable point the movable point can move in three different styles only there is no any another style other than the three style so let us see this movable point p is moving in such a way that its distance from this point and this line are same suppose this distance is 1 this is also 1 the equal distance is maintained by the point p now if p comes here and suppose this length is 2 then this length must be 2 equal distance likewise p can move if this distance is 3 then this is also 3 similarly it can move downward suppose p here p this is p p the jab the movement of p and similarly this equal distance must be maintained suppose this is 4 this must be 4 if this is 5 this must be 5 after that the the path the path of the moving point is called parabola this is the parabolic path where the distances must be Uh, equal distance must be maintained from the point and from the line now uh, in this case this is called parabola and the path is called parabolic path now again uh, the movement is like this suppose this distance is 1 this is 2 nearer to point and away from the line so again let this distance is 2 this is 4 1 ratio 2 1 ratio 2 suppose this length is 3 then this will be 6 again 1 ratio 2 so these are the position of the moving point and again in this direction suppose this is 2 again this is 4 the same ratio is being maintained p p p p and again this this suppose this is 5 this is 10 so the path of the moving point this is elliptical path ellipse ellipse the path formed is called ellipse now the moving point p is away from the line away from the point this is 2 and this is 1 p this point is further from the fixed point and nearer to the fixed line again if this length is 4 this length is 2 2 two ratio 1 4 by 2 is again 2 ratio 1 similarly p again suppose this is Six. This will be three. Again, six by three is two ratio one. Everywhere two ratio one. Again, you can see here. So if this length is four, this is two. Again, two ratio one. And in this way, suppose this length is six, this length is three. So the path of the moving point P. is called hyperbolic path this is called hyperbola 
Now the three types of movements are possible. Parabolic movement, elliptical movement and hyperbolic movement. So these are the three conic sections. Parabola, ellipse, hyperbola. Now one more thing must be noted by the students. That the fixed line is called. The fixed line is called directrix. In all the three conic sections, this fixed line is called directrix and the fixed point is called focus. Focus. So what do you mean by the directrix? This is the fixed line and the focus this is the fixed point. One more thing, there is a term eccentricity. Eccentricity is denoted by E. This is the ratio of the moving point. From fixed point to fixed line, suppose this is F, the fixed point is F, F, FP by PM, FP by PM, FP by PM. Now, the eccentricity in case of this uh, parabola, uh, E is equal to FP by PM. Fp by pm, 3 by 3, 2 by 2, 1 by 1, everywhere we are getting 1, comma, now we send, this is for parabola, or ellipse, e is equal to Fp by pm, again Fp by pm, so this is uh, 3 by 6, 1 by 2, 2 by 4 is also 1 by 2, 1 by 2, so this is 1 by 2, and again for this conic section, this is for parabola. This is for ellipse. And this is for hyperbola. P is equal to Fp by Pm. So this is 6 by 3 is 2 by 1. So this is 2 by 1. So this is for hyperbola. On the basis of eccentricity, both the sections can all the sections can be defined. If E is equal to 1, parabola. If E is less than 1, clearly E is less than 1. And clearly E is more than 1. And clearly E is equal to 1. So if E is equal to 1, parabola. If E is less than 1, ellipse. If E is more than 1, hyperbola. Now the discussion of eccentricity, press discussion. How to remember this? So let us draw the line of eccentricity up to infinite. Up to infinite starting from 0, 1, 1. This is 1, this is 0. For E more than 1, we get hyperbola. If E is less than 1, we get ellipse. If E is equal to 1, we get parabola. And if E is equal to 0, we get circle. So on the basis of eccentricity, we can define ellipse. E is less than 1 and less than 0 is not possible. The ratio, eccentricity is the ratio already discussed. So, in the next video, I will give you the concept of uh, parabola, circle already taught, parabola, then ellipse, then hyperbola. Thank you very much, students. Wait.